serious what are some ways to stop overthinking. I'm a constant overthinker and what really helps me when I'm spiraling is to consider what parts of the situation I can actually control. It puts the issue into a better perspective for me and allows me to fully act on situations that I can help control outside of the immediate moment. I do a lot of things mentioned here. I currently work out and do yoga every morning, followed by meditation. I love wearing myself out and then immediately providing a moment of calm where my brain is really empty, since it almost never is otherwise. Meditate. It's really hard at first cause you basically become a patient presence listening to yourself bitch and moan. But after a while the patient presence becomes more of your constant thought process and the screaming maniac talking about that test you need TOS to defer that embarrassing thing you did when you were 10 starts to calm down. It doesn't happen overnight but just like exercising you will start to see results and be happier. For the monsieur, edit, I suggest starting small, 2 to 5 minutes. You can do this by sitting quietly and following your breath. By that I mean focus on your natural breathing. A guided app like Calm can really help with this. It's scary being alone with your thoughts at first even for a few minutes. But it gets easier. AMD soon you like it. Your daily attitude will change when you don't let that crabby voice in your head dominate your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. If you can observe them and watch them evolve and run around feeding each other. You are, or can be independent of the monsieur. You make them and give them life. They aren't you. They are the product of you. Not the other way around. Meditation for me, is about the process of becoming aware of that. Journal it. Get it out. Self-reflect. Make sense of your worries, thoughts and feelings. Rule out things that now sound absolutely absurd or impractical. Yes, the retailer totally is fixated on your messy hair. It's on the top of his list of things to discuss with his friends and family as a retailer who sees thousands of people a day and has likely seen much more bizarre stuff. But your average messy hair tops that. See how silly that sounds? It helps you worry less. But do take care of yourself lol. It can also feel like by writing the thought down you move it from your headspace to your journal. And then you don't think about that much anymore. I can't explain the phenomenon but I guess you can compare it to writing down a to-do list in your phone instead of trying to remember all the things you have to do. It helps clear your mind and focus on the objective at hand. Ground yourself. I was taught that sense is game. When I notice that I am overthinking, I play this game to bring myself out of it. Name something you can see. Describe it with one word. Name something you can hear. Describe it with one word. Name something you can feel. Describe. Name something you can taste. If eating. If not. Maybe find something. Describe. Name something you can smell. And. Surprise. Describe. If that doesn't help. Repeat again, and this time describe with two words. Try to think outside of the box on how you describe it. This is more of a short-term solution to a long-term problem monsieur as others have suggested. Give meditation a try. There's no tricks to it. Just sit down and make yourself comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Every time you find your mind wandering off, stop it. Bring it back to your breathing. Maybe try out a few guiding meditating videos on YouTube to start yourself off. It will take a lot of practice but in attempting to meditate, you are meditating. Find something you enjoy and put almost all of your attention into it. But then I overthink it. Yeah doing something else is just avoiding the problem is you're these kind of anxious thoughts only. Grow when avoided. The key to getting rid of them is to process them in a healthy way. That's why journaling, reflection and meditation is some of the most common answers in this thread. They are all good ways to process your thoughts. Try mindfulness exercises. Stopping yourself from thinking by thinking about it is a recursive loop. Try instead acknowledging that you are doing it and letting it pass. Use post-it notes. Write the thoughts down on them and stick them on the wall. Use them as a to-do list. 
easier to do when you have them in your hands and not flying all over in your head. I've never tried this but I can imagine that it also helps you realize what's in your control and what's not, because things like others' opinions of yourself is something you can worry about but can't really affect that much. And sometimes you need to realize that there's nothing you can do so you can go on with your life. This really helps me. A lot of the time when I'm worried about something, I'll come up with a plan to action tomorrow. But then I'll obsess about the plan. Because I'm worried I'll forget it. Some nights I have to turn the light on at 2 a.m. And just write something down. And then miraculously I can sleep. Mindfulness exercises like meditation. It doesn't have to be yoga or sitting in the dark chanting ohms. I enjoy coloring manadalas with colored pencils while listening to rap. I invested in a decent set of pencils. Tilda $25 and just print out free patterns online or you can buy mandala coloring books. Trick is whenever thoughts start to creep into your head work on clearing them away. I find it helpful to concentrate on every stroke of the pencil and the blending of my colors. Don't rush to finish the coloring. Blend every tiny speck of the pattern. It usually takes me about a week, five to eight hours, of coloring to finish a one-page pattern. I try not to do more than an hour at a time as it be mentally exhausting. Also after a while I feel myself rushing to finish the coloring or having a hard time focusing on clearing my mind. I started with 15 to 20 minute sessions and worked up to 30 to 45 minutes and now do an hour. Sometimes 15 minutes session is all I need in the middle of the day when I need to clear my head. When you find that happening. Bring your attention to your breathing. Just observe the body breathing. Without getting involved, the idea is just to observe. Almost like an outsider your mind will inevitably wander off again to the thoughts. And when that happens, gently bring your attention back to the breath. If you do this with some level of commitment, you will be pleasantly surprised to observe your thoughts slow down, and the mind become calmer. This used to happen to me a lot. Now, it rarely happens. And when it does I have tools to help. What helped me was seeing a psychologist that specializes in cognitive behavioral therapy. He taught me some techniques. The most useful one is thought records. Thought records is a writing exercise to help examine your thoughts. You can google for examples. My psychologist told me writing it down is very important and the research says writing about 40 to 50 thought records over a period of months will eventually rewire your brain. I can personally say it works. Although I don't know if it would for everyone. Another thing, he told me is when your mind is spinning and you can't stop thinking about something. That's called a hot thought. It is usually based on some underlying belief. And that belief puts a reality distortion field on your experiences. Hot thoughts help dissect these beliefs and challenge them with evidence. If you have any questions let me know. This has been transformative in my life. Sidetrack it with something you really enjoy. This allows your brain to diffuse what is going on in your head. In other words, your subconscious mind is analyzing and breaking down the problem for you. It's the reason why you come up with better arguments in the shower as well. My personal approach however is to grab a piece of paper or have a word doc ready. Jot down the recurring thoughts in my head. This allows me to have my thoughts transfer from the emotional part of our brain through the logical side. It eventually helps your mind process what is going on inside it. Maybe write it down? No it just causes more problems. I smoke weed, for real. It quiets all the internal noise down. Let's me focus on what is important. Gets me outside my regular though patterns so I can reevaluate what is important. It slows my brain down in a good way. I think it has the opposite effect on me, tbh. Brains are weird. Weed can have two sides or you become very relaxed just like you. Rocket 808 or you get more paranoid. Besides this people can also get more paranoid from weed if they have the genes for it. Talk about it with someone you trust. When I overthink, 
I get very anxious. A way I've learned to cope with overthinking is to say, out loud, if you want, five things you see, try to be as specific as possible. For example, blue laptop case, small black pillow, pink nail polish, green comforter, and a tan purse. It really makes you think. Sometimes I stare at an item and can't remember what the word for it is. But it makes you stop overthinking and think about one thing only. I hope this helps. It's kept me from going into an anxiety attack multiple times. Have a good rest of your day. I have clients that use the Sedona method and it has helped them immensely. There is also a free app called iRelease which is made by coaches who are trained in the method. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy with a Professional Works Wonders I just wanted to add in my experience to give some unique advice hopefully. What really helped me stop overthinking was starting to trust myself. In stressful situations where I was overthinking a future scenario, I can now trust that I can handle it and therefore don't need to go over the situation 1000 times. If I am worried I have hurt or embarrassed myself, I trust that I can fix the situation and am accepting of the consequences. After working on a bit of self-confidence, I trust myself to be okay. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, there is a long way to go still. But hope my perspective can help. Trust yourself and trust the people in your life. Good luck up. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.